Hello my wanderers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily, aka Wanda Blush here on YouTube, and today I am in Oh, Gabe's in my new place. We are subletting in Queens, and um, we're only here for a little while. We're only here for about two months. We're in a fully furnished apartment, but we've added our own things like that. Those are mine, those are ours. Hey! It's our bedding, it's very nice. Here's a blanket, it's very nice. There's a, some pillows, a robe, and flowers for my mom. I'm so excited because today I am doing probably my most requested video. Not that I get that many requested videos, so you should go down to my comments section below and tell me what you want to see. And also follow social media and subscribe. As you can see from the title of this video, this is my brow routine. I do this really every single day. I've been doing this specific brow routine for the past, well, the past maybe month and a half at this point. I started it right before the wedding, which was quite like, I, I have to say, quite risky. I could have really messed things up for my brows right before the wedding. I took a high risk, but high risk equals high reward because look at these bad boys look at how nice they look so please stay tuned watch how I did this it's super easy guys the main product I am using is the Wonder Brow no this is not sponsored I bought this for myself I wish I was sponsored hey Wonder Brow you guys are so good um, so this is a really a high power gel that's amazing for your brows that and some powder and some concealer that's all I use now I do love a bunch of other brow products that I will tell you about at the end of the video so stay tuned for that stay tuned watch and uh, and enjoy yeah. so this is the first time I think I've been on camera with my whole face done and not my brows and this is legit what I used to wear all the time in high school. It's like cringeworthy. It's not that bad because my, my brows are actually more grown in the, than they were in high school. In high school, they were like quite thin. Don't pluck your brows unless you know what you're doing. Okay, so we're gonna get into doing the brows, the Wonder Brow. I had heard about it for a little while. I had seen other YouTubers use it, um, but then I saw it was available in CVS and I was like, what? <sighs> this is just a high, high quality, high functioning, easy to use brow gel. And this stuff does not go anywhere until you want it to go somewhere. I wore it on my wedding day. My brows, number one, Alexa told me they never look better. Thank you so much. Didn't go anywhere. So for me, I'm, I'm kind of the person, I'm a type of person where my brows sometimes are the first things to go or at least get patchy on my eyes. So I'm going to show you how I use this. I use it with some powder. And uh, the powder I use is in the Naked Basics palette in the color Faint, the, that dark brown one. I also love using the Real Techniques Brow Kit by uh, Sam and Nick. This is just really awesome. It comes with, I can't find the scissors, the little scissors it comes with. It came with two tweezers, one for one that's thicker, and that one is also like super thin and gets fine detailed hairs, very small hairs. And then it come, came with a spoolie, an angled brush, a smudger, and also a little blending brush. It's, it's, used, it's great to use a, as a concealer to clean up your brows. I also really love using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in light as a way to clean up my brows. I always, always clean up my brows. So with the Wonder Brow, it came with a spoolie and, and the Wonder Brow itself. So what you first want to do, comb through my brows. I didn't get my brows done too long ago. I will say that the Wonder Brow is best when your eyes are, when your brows are particularly groomed. My hair grows in super, super thick. This product doesn't always look that great. That's when I usually go on to my pomades or my brow pencils. I'll show you those at the end of the ones that I like to use. This stuff also needs to dry a little bit, so it's nice to do the first part of the brow, then do the rest of my makeup, and then come back and finish my brows up. That's sometimes what I do, but for right now, I'm just gonna do it all in one go. It comes with a lot of product on it, so you kinda wanna like minimize the product on it, just put it in the top of the thing, and just in very light strokes, I usually start in the front, and light strokes go, go with the hairs. You really wanna use a light hand with this because the color is quite pigmented, and you don't want to have a big glop of stuff. So I have a little bit of that in the front so I can just, while it's still wet, blend it out. Because remember, you can always add product, but if you start out with a huge 
dark spot, it just doesn't look cute. Okay, so I've gone through most of my brow, and now I'm gonna go back to the front and just put a couple more strokes at the front, kind of blend it out, feather it out a bit right in the front. Ugh. I like to make it look a little lighter in the front. It's usually the effect I go for, whether it comes through, I know not. And then when you kind of feel like you've gone through it all, take that spoolie again and brush up and out. If I wasn't so anal with how I do my brows, that would be perfectly fine to go out. On to the next brow. I really can't believe I used to not do my eyebrows at all. I legit used to do my entire makeup, which was foundation that was too dark for my skin. But I would put that on and then I would just take like either a wet washcloth or like a makeup wipe and just wipe off the foundation that was on my brows. Usually taking off most of the foundation around my brows as well because, you know, highlighter. Having that just be it. Having to figure out makeup and learn it when I got older. Gave me character. Gave me a sense of purpose. We didn't have YouTube. We didn't have blogs. Okay, so those are combed through. Uh, you just kind of want it to dry just a bit because when this stuff dries, it like hardens and girl, that shit don't go anywhere. Okay, so now I'm going in with my Naked Basics palette with the color Faint, that dark brown, and I'm going to fill in the patches and kind of make them look a little bit more complete. Completely set the gel, and then I'll clean them up after that. So what I like to do is I take my angled brush. I always like using a nice, stiffer angled brush. This one by Real Techniques is really nice. It's inexpensive. It lasts really long. It's got a nice length to it. You can get it at like, I think you can get this pack at most uh, Targets or Walgreens. So I like to make a line underneath first, extend the brow a little bit, create a nice little tail. The powder helps me really create that nice arch at the top of my brow. And then I'll just feather a little bit of product in at the front. Again, you don't need a lot. Yes, girl, come through. Lately, the right brow has been my friend. The left brow. Now she's a prodigal daughter. She don't want to come home. She's like, I'm out. I'm in Vegas. I'm living my best truth. I'm not coming home. And when she does come home, she comes home raggedy as hell. That's my brow. Hope I was in focus for the rest of that because I'm not going back. Ram it. Okay. Do you see like this one? She does not. She doesn't want to be loved. She doesn't want to find acceptance in this world. But you will. I've been out of focus. Oh. Is that really the focus? Oh my god. That really sucks. What would it be my channel without me being out of focus for a good amount of it? Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Fit Me Concealer in Light number 10 by Maybelline and clean the brows up. So now I just go right underneath and I just clean it up. Real techniques. I'm obsessed. They're my holy grail. All right, now you go under and you clean. I like. I think a clean, clean bottom is perfection for a brow. And then clean it up a little bit up top. You don't want to lose that arch to create that little faded effect. Just put a little, tiny, tiny bit. Blend them a tiny bit in the front. That is. Uh, that's it, guys. That's my brows. Oh, my face looks so much more, so much more complete now. As promised, I will tell you the other products that I use on my brows, maybe at different times of the year, or what different growth periods of my brows. I mean, I will admit when I'm when I was on a ship, and when I'm probably going back on a ship, I just don't get them done that often because I'm just afraid people are going to mess up my brows. Some products are better than others for when that comes around. The Wonder Brow is great, but I I really don't think it's it's that great when you've got really grown in brows. It just makes them look too big. I don't know, I haven't I haven't enjoyed it yet. So these are the other products that I use during the year. In terms of pomade, I am a fond, fond believer of the Anastasia Beverly Hills 
dip brow pomade. Uh, my color is medium brown. As you can see, this is well loved. This is over a year old and uh, there's still a crap ton of product left. I usually take a little out of there, put it on here or put it on the back of my wrist and a little goes a really long way. I, I really do like this, but this will not stay as long as the Wonder Brow. So if you're looking for something that's really going to last for a really long time until you want it off, go for the Wonder Brow. Anastasia Beverly Hills is a really great brand. The next product I will talk about is this one by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Brow Definer, also in medium brown. It's just, it's a retractable pen um, for when my brows kind of, I'm really, if I really want to go for that bushier look, I'll use this. Um, it's got a nice spoolie at the end of it, which I really do like. It's a nice quality of spoolie. But yeah, it's, it's nice consistency. It does dry out a little quick, so I didn't get this too long ago, and it's a little dried out. I did like this but it's not my favorite in terms of a brow pencil. I'm actually a little bit more fond of this one by Maybelline. I have had this one for so long. Honestly, I think it compares very well to that Anastasia brow one. Yeah, the color is almost the same. This is in deep brown. Uh, what's really cool is that on the other side it has a powder brush, a powder smudger brush, so if you really want to make your brows bushier. I wish I had a spoolie. I think it would be even better if it had a spoolie. But yeah, I've had this forever and it really has not dried up that much. I've had this one for, I want to say, over a year as well. Are you supposed to replace your brow products if they're over a year? I don't know. I'm a huge, huge fan of almost everything Maybelline. They've come out with the brow tattoos which I think are going to be very, very close in comparison to the uh, Wonder Brow. So I cannot wait to try those when they come out. I also just love the mechanism that you get to, like, you put it on, you peel it off, and then you're, like, brows. Like, what? The next thing by Maybelline for brows, I think Maybelline does a really great job with their brow products. They basically created a nice dupe for the Benefit Give Me Brows, uh, the, the fiber the little spoolie with the fiber enhancing. The one thing I hated about the Benefit Gimme Brow is that it they're just it dried up so quickly and there just wasn't that much product for how much you were paying. This is freaking huge. Only thing I don't like is that the spoolie itself is pretty big, but it's got fibers in it to make your hairs look thicker and um, it's the perfect shade of brown for my for my brows. So when I just want something that's super super natural, really minimal makeup, I'll use this. Also in the deep brown. Um, like I said earlier in the video, I like using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer as my way of cleaning up my brows, but Maybelline has also come out with um, this Brow Precise Perfecting Highlighter. This is basically a concealer that is in the shape of um, of an angled brush so it gives you more of a more of a guide. Uh, I think this product is really good. I was using this for a while and I really liked it. I think I, I just tend to like the Fit Me Concealer texture more but I do really like the mechanism and how there is there's so much product. The color is really nice and it blends in very nicely too to really make your brows pop. So those are all the products that I really love to use for my brows. Thank you so much for watching Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know that I've been coming at you guys with a lot of vlogs, a lot of wedding stuff. I still have more vlogs to come because I'm realizing that vlogging is what I really enjoy doing. It might not be daily vlogs. I still have a couple from my last ship that I'm excited to bring to you because they were adventures and I wanted to show you them. So they're still coming. But uh, I'm excited to bring you guys more content that isn't just wedding related. But now, you know, married life related. I'm definitely going to do a little tour of this place. Even though it is not Gabe's in my place for very long. It is still our first place together. So I'm really excited to show you it. Um, I mean, how freaking cute. Thanks for the sublet. Again, if there's anything that you'd like to see in the future, just, you know, tell me down below. And if not, um, you know, that's my job and I'll figure it out myself. Okay, uh, that's it for me. I'm leaving because I am seeing Grace Helbig tonight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> see you in the show. Very excited. So I gotta go get ready. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to peace, love, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.